Hello there, and thank you for clicking onto my video. I have an art journal process to share with you today with the Thompson's Craft Supplies Design Team, and I am using the May Perfect Gentleman Kit yet again. Um, this art journal spread is kind of a companion piece to last week's scrapbook layout that I did for Thompson's Craft. In that, so if you haven't seen that video, I will link it just in case. But I scrapbooked a picture of my paternal great granddad who. Uh, died in the first world war nearly said second wrong war first world war and yes did a scrapbook layout about that and i told you guys about it and all that kind of thing and we also have because my grandma gave them to us his war medals and i just i wanted to do something with those really in an art journal process kind of thing um obviously i haven't used the actual medals because that would be silly but what I've done is I took pictures of them um, just on a white background and I did do some editing in Photoshop just to make them a bit clearer and stuff. And I've printed them out on cardstock and fussy cut them. And you can see here, I've also put gloss gel on top of them to kind of make them more shiny and look more like medals. And I've also put a clear gesso on the ribbon part of the medal as well. Just makes them more sturdy and... You know, I have an inkjet printer and sometimes like the ink's going to come off on your hand when it's really solid colour like that and stuff. So that's part of the reason why I've also put the gel and gesso on. And just in case you were wondering, that's not four medals. It's two medals that I've taken a picture of either side. And there's also the big one is his death plaque. Kind of depressing. But yes, it says he died for freedom and honour, I think, on it. And then his name and everything. So that's what the big one is as well and yeah I just wanted to do something with those so I have already pre gessoed my art journal pages despite there being two layers of heavy gesso on you can still see I would accidentally splattered some ink or something on that page which is why you can see all that pink and blue and stuff but with everything else that goes on top that gets covered up but I'm just going in with some ranger crackle paste using that stencil and yes there we go now I have to apologize here if you saw this sudden change I did a, the load of painting and I'm afraid either my camera didn't record it or I didn't press record but wah 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 I lost it all and I'm so so sorry about that but all I did was just throw acrylic paint at my page once all that crackle paste had dried through that stencil so hopefully you don't mind too much I was just showing you the paints there they're the deco art in brown bronze and gold the brown and gold are actually ones that came in the January Thompson's kit the steampunk kit so yes just like a good example of how these kits are actually really good for building up your stash as well as doing projects you know thematically as well but yeah all I did was just dry brush you know I didn't really mix the paints or anything I've just thrown them at the page I'm not very good at doing arty farty stuff with paints I just as I say I just chuck them at the page and hope for the best and that's what I did here so that's why I'm hoping you won't mind too much that I lost all of that footage. Oh, I feel so silly, but again, I don't, I'm not entirely sure if it was my fault or the camera's fault. Let's say it was the camera's fault, because then I feel better about myself. But let's be honest, it was probably my fault. Uh, <laughs> now I'm going in with some of this granite paste. I used these this in the project last week. I'm just kind of obsessed with it at the moment from Cosmic Shimmer. That stencil there is from this perfect gentleman kit and I've actually used I've got I bought two colors of this granite paste there's the giallo one I don't know if I'm saying that right which is a more browny goldy color and there's the other one which I've forgotten the name of but that's a more gray silver and I couldn't decide which one to use so I just went for my old fail safe of why not both so yeah I use both um and just let it go through the stencil like that I'm not sure if I've missed talking about anything because obviously that that change between a stark white page and then boom brown and gold page kind of threw me off a little bit even though I knew it was going to happen uh, that frame there again if you saw last week's video you may recognize it from that I did want to incorporate a few elements from that scrapbook page because as I said they are sort of like companion pieces although not unless I write something on this art journal page no one's actually going to know that for sure when you know if anyone should look at my stuff in 10 years time I don't know but anyway he's slowly rambly there but yes that frame I just cut a bit out a bit of it to have it on this page that's just one of the random bits of ephemera that came in the kit and I'm just taking the distress crayon again from the kit and using that to just color that piece of ephemera because it was kind of white and too too much of a ah, white color so I just had to tone it down a bit but you just put the distress crayon on it and then blend it with your finger 
Likewise, the frame wasn't quite the right colour either. It was a bit too bright, so I've gone over the top with Distress Oxide in Dem 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 Vented Photo over the top and now Hickory Smoke around the edges just to tone it down a bit, make it look a bit older and all that kind of thing. Now, I want it to go across both pages, but if I just glued it, you know, all the way across, we would have trouble closing the book. And I'm already having enough trouble closing the book with all these art journal spreads in it. So, yes, I've just cut it there. That's the reason why. And I'm just going to stick all of this on with 3D Matte Gel Medium from Prima. I always link that if I can in the description box. It does seem to be a little hard to get hold of at the moment. I don't think Louise Thompson's Craft has any in at all. And last time I looked on Amazon, it was a ridiculous price, but... I will still try and find a link, nevertheless, if I can. It doesn't obviously have to be the Prima Gel Medium. It's just the one that I've used and I know when I trust and all that kind of thing. So, yes, that is going on like so. And from this point onwards, I'm just pretty much throwing on a load of ephemera, again from the kit, and just chucking it on, really. That piece there was fussy cut. That's a little cluster, fussy cut from one of the papers. I, I should probably say as well, it's not just ephemera from the kit. It's also fussy cut pieces from some of the papers. I've put that cog on the top there because at the bottom of that little piece it said something like American Association of Baseball or something, which, you know, is fine, but not really appropriate for this layout about a British man that died in the First World War, really, is it? So yes, that's why I covered that up. And I'm distressing the edges of these, both with the distress tool and the oxides and stuff, just making them look older and more vintage and stuff. But yes, all from the kit, all just plonking on right on top of there. So yes, that's... Yes. Now, if you're wondering about the title of this art journal spread, which is Mutt and Jeff, <laughs> which I realise sounds strange. Some of you may know already what that means. But basically, the medals from the First World War, obviously they were issued years afterwards. Um, well, I think from one year onwards. But anyways, you either got two medals or you got three medals. And obviously there were probably like honour medals and stuff, but we won't go into that. But yes, you if you fought before the 1st of January 1916 you also got the uh, star medal which is like the 14 to 16 or 14 to 15 star or something you got that one you got the British war medal which is the one that's got the orange and blue ribbon it's slightly darker colored and then there's the victory medal which is the one with the more rainbow ribbon as well so if you all got all three of those it was called Pip, Squeak and Wilfred for some reason. Apparently they're based on comic strips from newspapers. I don't really understand, but that's what it is. But if you didn't get the 14 to 16 or 14 to 15, I keep getting it wrong, star, then having the two medals was called Mutt and Jeff, which again, don't really understand why they got to that name. But again, it was there was a popular comic strip in a newspaper way back then called Mutt and Jeff, and they called it that. It's also Cockney rhyming slang for Def, D-E-A-F, not the one with T-H at the end. But so, again, I don't really know. It's one of those things where no one really knows for sure, but it just happened. So that's why I'm calling this one Mutt and Jeff, because I just thought, I, did, I just thought it would work rather than being like medals and death plaque and all that kind of thing. Mutt and Jeff is just kind of like, what? And people might look at this and go, I don't know what that means. And then Google it and they'll be like, I see. So, yeah, that's why I called it that. I just, those letters I use to type, not type, write out Mutt and Jeff are the Tim Holtz ones. You get them with black with gold edges or white with gold edges or the same with silver edges. They're fab. Got them on Amazon, I think. We'll try and link for you if I can. Putting some sequins down because I do like some sequins. Those are from the kit. We got a massive tin of sequins in the kit. Oh, these are going to last me forever. I love them so much. I'm also going in with some, uh, not glossy accents, what are they? Crackle accents, just around some edges just to help those stick out a bit more. And then finally, this is actually about an hour later, but I was just like, I'm not 100% happy with this. Something's not quite right. And I dug out this rice paper, which again was from the January Steampunk kit. And I've just actually, with some decoupage glue, just put a couple of bits of that on there just to sort of help I don't know, it just looked better when they were on there for some reason. And one of the little bits has got a map that's got France and Belgium on it, which is obviously very appropriate for the First World War. So, yeah, there we go. Just added those on. It was very much one that got thrown together, and I just wanted to make a thing of the medals, really, but I didn't want to scrapbook it for some reason. I wanted to art journal it. I cannot explain why, but there we go. So, yeah, lots of bits from the kit. Um, and as I said... 
there's also stuff that you get that really helps you build your stash. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be like advertising at you. And I know you all think I'm really biased, but I do genuinely think they're really, really good. So yes, that's the first edition decoupage glue, just in case you're wondering that I'm using to put those rice paper pieces on. And with that, I'm fairly sure I am finished. So there we go, quicker than usual, that art journal spread. But I hope you enjoyed it nevertheless. As I said about seven times in this whole voiceover, there will be links in the description box as many as I can provide. Please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and a comment should you have anything to say. And other than that, I am now going. Thank you again.